Okay, so this video is directed towards parents, and the title is How to Help Your Kids Learn Math at Home, and this is part two. I made an, uh, another video, um, I didn't label part one, it's just how to help your kids learn math from home, and the whole idea of these videos is to help you, um, you know, empower you as much as uh, you know I can help uh, to to get you through this extremely difficult time with the with the virus and school closings, etc. So a little bit about myself. My name is uh, John. I am a middle and high school math uh, teacher. I've taught in the classroom many many years, but. I am also the founder of Tablet Class Math, which we've um, been doing independent online math education, primarily for middle and high school math and um, uh, test preparation uh, type of courses for well over a decade. Um, uh, so um, I'm an expert. And by the way, I'm a parent myself, so I know what it's like to have a child and, and you know, the whole nine yards. So I'm um, a credible source to give you some advice. Um, now, hopefully, uh, you know some of the things I want to talk about. You know you already were thinking about, but I'm going to stress some things to you that I think that um, every parent for sure can benefit from. The first thing I want to say is uh, you now uh, you need to kind of think like a teacher. Now of course your 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 schools are closed and um, teachers are kind of coordinating with your child, but now you are the direct person, right? So here you are at home. And of course, you know what it's like to be a parent, but you have your child at home, and normally they're doing their chores or doing their homework, etc. Now you're going to be kind of put in a role where you're, you're going to have to monitor the educational process because your teacher was the one that kind of, you know, you relied on the teacher, your child's teachers to do this, and you're going to have to kind of do it. Now, if you're a homeschooler, of course, you already kind of know a lot about this, but obviously, you know, everybody out there is kind of thrown into a, effectively almost like a homeschool kind of situation. So I'm going to stress three big um, ideas here that can help you um, develop your kind of teacher skills, right? Now, I'm not talking about your teacher skills in terms of, you know, teaching algebra or geometry. That's not what I'm talking about. Just talking about the management of the of the educational process. Okay, so big things that I think that you can definitely, um, uh, you know, if you focus on these things, it's really, really going to help keep your child um, engaged and keep the continuity of their education going forward because you don't want them to miss a beat if you can. Okay, so I'm going to tell you right now, by the way, that although this is extremely difficult for for all of us and many of you it's it's just you know really really difficult but if you get organized with your thoughts you can you can make it through this and you can keep your your child or children you know uh, keep their education going okay that's going to be extremely important by the way um I do, of course, like I said, have an online math program. Uh, you can find me at tabletclass.com uh, or tcmathacademy.com. But I'll leave a little bit more about my information at the end of this video. So with that being said, let's get into the first main idea here. That is note-taking, okay? Do not trust your child, okay? <laughs> As a parent myself, don't say, hey, did you do your homework? Did you review the lesson that your, your teacher sent you? Uh, if the answer is, oh, yes, yes, uh, now it's time for me to go play Fortnite or go, you know, uh, online or et cetera and play games, don't trust that, okay? You need evidence that they are um, engaged learning, okay, or, you know, actively doing something. The best evidence, you know, whether, you know, even if they were, this was like normal times and your child was in school, look at their notes. Look at their notes. Okay. So get them organized. Get a notebook. Make sure, you know, they should have a notebook already. But, you know, mark the date, you know, whatever the date is and say, you know, per subject and get them highly organized. If they only, you know, uh, took like one or two lines of notes, then that's, you know, a, a direct indication, especially with math, that they're not really you know uh, learning now even if the teacher sends something in a document okay or whatnot uh, in an online lesson still have them transfer um, a good amount of that on paper because that's going to go towards their retention and learning so it's very very important don't let them talk you out of you know oh, I don't need to take notes I got this etc now of course some of the things they might be saying it, it could be you know valid but in general, okay, and I would say definitely most of the time, you need to be seeing notes, okay? Um, and that would also kind of in include homework, 
Okay, let me see your homework. Let me see your notes. So um, you may not know this, but in a lot of math classes, let's say in, in high school, for example, I taught Algebra 1 or Algebra 2, you know, a teacher might give any, maybe like 10% of the grade would be the actual notes. Okay, let me see your notes. Boom, and I can just see, is this person engaged? Are they organized? Uh, because if they're paying attention, they're, then they're taking notes. That is the evidence, okay? So extremely, extremely important note taking. And of course, homework, showing all their homework work. All right, now, Let's go to the next big idea here. Review previous material. Now this is going to be a little bit more uh, tricky um, in terms of uh, your, your, your teacher's giving, your teacher's going to just kind of try to keep up with what's going on. They're current, you know, the break in the curriculum. They're going to try to keep the, the curriculum, you know, moving forward, which is what they should be doing. So typically, when you're in the class, it's a much more rich learning environment. You know, they can kind of do pop quizzes and, and whatnot, you know, to, to review uh, previous materials. And I'm sure your teachers are going to be trying to do some of that as well. But you as a parent should uh, kind of take some initiative and, and uh, do, do this on your own, okay? Now, how could you review previous material in terms of math? Again, have, if, they, if your child has been taking good notes, you know, make them scan through it. Uh, look at old homework, okay? If you have any home, old homework, notes, or uh, test, quiz, anything and everything that they've already covered, make up your own little quiz. Get, or it can literally be just like one little problem a day from like previous material. Now, you are extremely busy with other things, uh, and I totally get that. So do this the best you can, okay? But if you're going to invest extra time or whatever time you can to, to help your child, you know, uh, you know, get through this. Um, and of course, I know all of you out there would try to love to have as much time as you possibly can, but you got other things going on. I get that. So don't feel like you have to make a professional teacher type of quiz. Just pick one prom from a chapter they already covered. Um, and a good way of doing that is maybe get their textbook, go to a particular, uh, don't, don't tell them, go to a particular chapter they already covered and uh, pick out one of the problems where the answer's in, in the back of the book. You generally like, let's, let's say the odd problems, right? Like say five, seven, whatever. Just make sure the answer is in the back of the book. And a good way to approach this too is to ask them, and you should kind of have to do a little, a little self-assessment here when you just erase this, and just make, uh, have them write down, okay, hey, uh, what chapters have you covered? Okay, and um, then you can kind of like just break it up in maybe two categories. Uh, uh, do, do you know or don't you know? Okay, like are you, have you, did you do well or do you understand? Make an assessment. So let's say chapter one, two, three, and they say, oh yeah, oh, I really got, I got an A on that test, A on this test, you know, get a, um, a basic assessment of how well they did. Let's say chapter four, like, oh no, I, I, I failed that test. Okay, mark it over there. But all the ones that they, they say, all the chapters and all that previous material that they, that they um, believe they, really, they know really well, these are some of the, you know, just quickly go to that particular chapter, find one problem in a textbook and just give them one problem. You don't even have to do it every day, just do it when you can. But keep them uh, somewhat engaged with previous material so they don't uh, lose uh, those uh, skills because math does build upon itself. Now, if they fail at a particular chapter or whatnot, that's going to be a little bit uh, tougher, and I'll talk about um, how you can uh, um, address some of those things here in a second, okay? But I would just, for you, as a parent, just stick with the things that they that they clearly know. Just keep them, you know, um, practicing so they don't lose that particular skill. All right, so let's talk about the third big idea here, and that's teach back. Now, what is teach back? Well, you know, um, Teach back is really, really powerful, okay? So let's say your child is learning uh, fractions, okay? And they learn everything about fractions, um, how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide. Okay, awesome. So what you do is, uh, you can do this any different way at your kitchen table or just, you know, do, you know, somehow, some way. You know, sit down or take, take listen to your child and say, teach me, you teach me how to, Oh, I don't know, uh, multiply or divide fractions, let's say, divide fractions, and let your child uh, explain uh, to you. Now, of course, you want to ask them, hey, do you know how to uh, divide fractions? Oh, yeah, yeah, I learned that. I'm really good at that. Perfect. Can act at, like, tutor me. Imagine I didn't know. How, how would you um, 
how would you uh, multiply or, or divide two fractions and let them just talk through their explanation now it would be nice if you had like a, te a textbook in front of you or maybe it, uh, you, you actually know how uh, to uh, divide fractions but or best case you have good notes right and just have them explain you want them talking because the highest level of comprehension and retention um, is to be able to teach and explain something. That means that, the, that the, your child has really synthesized all this material. So, you know, let them say, okay, you know, they're going to stumble around because they're not, you know, uh, teachers, they're not used to teaching. But they might say, okay, well, first, you, you know, you take this and then you got a fraction and then this fraction here, the one to the right of that, you flip it around. Even if their explanation is kind of like course, you know, kind of guide them. Like, what do you mean? Like, ask them leading questions. Oh, I'm kind of confused. You, as the parent, like, really try to force your child to teach you this one little tiny micro topic, okay? Um, and by doing so, you keep their brain engaged and you, you're up their retention and, and understanding. Now, let's say they, 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 they kind of mess it up, and that's going to be typical, right? Let's say they'll, oh, wait a minute, I'm, wait, I'm messing this up. They say, no problem, no problem. Why don't you go um, take two, three minutes, look at, go, go write down, just write down some notes on how you want to teach me. And now your child goes on a piece of paper and they write down their little quick lesson plan. Okay, da, 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 da. And now they come back and now they try to teach you again and it's better. This is extremely powerful. This is what teachers do. I'm just telling you right here, this is what teachers do. Okay. So if I have to say, I mean, from uh, being in a classroom, these are very, very powerful, powerful techniques because you're trying to build retention. You want to get, you want to get engagement up and if a person can teach something, then that's an indication that they know uh, something. Now, let me get back to uh, this situation. Uh, let's say your, your child is really struggled and there's a couple uh, chapters or, or maybe big chunks of the course that they really uh, struggle with. At that time, I would really, um, you know, after you get your guidance from your teacher, your child's teacher is to maybe consider an online uh, math uh, learning program as a supplement. So, for example, Tabit Class Math, my program, you know, is completely comprehensive. It's it's almost exactly like what you're, the kind of instruction your child would get like in a school. It's not quick tutorial videos. It's not like a one-two type of things. Schools, public schools, charter schools um, use my program. Lots of independent uh, learners, homeschoolers, people are uh, test prepping. Why? Because my uh, program, uh, you know, we've been developing it for years and years and years, is extremely comprehensive. Very difficult to build out a type of program like that. I can just do like a quick video on how to add fractions, but that's not what a teacher does. Your child doesn't go into a classroom and get like a three minute video on how to add fractions, and then your teacher says, okay, do all the homework. They get a lot, they get a full lesson, they get a lot of review, they get a lot of demonstrator practice. That's what you need to, to really learn, okay? So you want to find a program, whether it's mine or, or, or another, um, to supplement, okay, to kind of fill in the gaps. Um, uh, now, of course, if you, you know, like I know my particular program, there's a lot of, of young people that just fully engaged and they're like on auto, automatic. That's what my time class was designed for, to be an independent learning system. So, you know, you're, you're dependent on your child and how mature they are and how much you trust them. And there's all types of, you know, I know my, my <laughs> teenager, well, he's older now, but I had to chase him around like, hey, do your homework, da, 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 da. And of course, you know, kids think their parents don't know anything. So that's just normal. Okay. But there's other kids that are, that they're really, you know, have great academic skills, highly motivated. Well, those folks, you know, they can engage in a system like mine and just like really just keep learning, you know, won't really miss a beat. But with that being said, though, um, these are some powerful ideas here to help you really kind of um, uh, empower you to, to, to get to this time. OK, remember, yes, you've always been a parent. You always will be a parent. But during this time, OK, you're also going to have to kind of try to start thinking like a teacher. OK, as well. All right, and these things here don't require you to know the t uh, all the material. And, you, and by the way, uh, they go beyond the scope of just mathematics as well. Okay, so with that being said, let me just go ahead and leave you with the following. Um, of course, you know, uh, if you want to subscribe to my channel, I've got hundreds and hundreds of videos. I think I'm up to close to 600 videos on YouTube. I've been on YouTube for well over 10 years. Um, I have, I don't know, like 12 million views. 
119,000 subscribers at the time of this video. So I'm very fortunate, uh, very lucky that a lot of people resonate with my instruction. So I just keep putting out content. So, um, you know, you don't get to those levels without doing something right. So like, there's a lot of things I can't do. But one thing I, I'm passionate about is teaching math. Okay, so, um, so hopefully, you know, maybe your child likes my teaching style, uh, but so they can find a ton of free videos on, on my YouTube channel. But I'm going to go ahead and give you the link uh, uh, to my um, uh, program. So again, it's Tablet Class. I'm kind of write this real here, tabletclass.com, and that'll redirect you to our new site, TC Math Academy. Dot com. I'm going to leave the link in the description of this video. So if you want to check out um, uh, our program, uh, we have free previews. And you can take a look at that and see if that's right for you. If you want to get a hold of me, uh, certainly comment uh, on the video. And of course, if you like it, I would appreciate that. Uh, but if you have questions you know, about how maybe my program can, can help you, best way to um, contact me is to go, our, go to our site and... Um, uh, use the contact form. We can help individuals and schools. So our program is pretty, pretty powerful. But with that being said, I just want to wish uh, you all the best during these very difficult times. You and your family be safe. Um, and, you know, we'll all get through this together. So I'm going to continue to try to put out videos that I think can help you, the parent or the teacher, or anything I can do. Um, and by the way, I'm not the end all be all, but I, in an online education or homeschooling and distance learning, and I've been involved in this for like 15 years. So I feel like I do have a pretty good level of experience and expertise. Just, you know, of course, I, I'm like you. I never saw, imagine uh, we would be in such a situation. But now that we are, I think people need to kind of get educated quickly about, you know, um, learning things remotely. Okay, and that's where I really want to help. So be safe, be well, um, and have a great day. Thank you for your time.